Welcome to this YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare a slip, a slip like this one. So we have a slip here and it's pulling data from another Google sheet here, which has all the data for the different stuff. So I'm using this data to pull the data to this payslip. So how am I doing it? That's what I'm going to do. And how does this payslip work? The way it works is select a name and select a month here. Then the, all the other fields are populated and the net pay is automatically calculated. It's a quite good tool that you can use in your daily work if you prepare pay slips. So to get started, I'm going to start from scratch. All I've done now, I've copied a sheet here without the formulas. Then I can take you step by step on how I built it. So first thing first, I'm going to put a drop down here with the names and another drop down here with the months. So let's start with the months. I have the months listed on another sheet called settings right here. And I'm going to use those as well. So to put a drop down, I go to data, data validation, then add a new rule. I'm going to put my drop down in this cell here, correctly selected. And my data is coming from a range. I pick this option. I go and select my range right here. Say okay. I change the look and feel of my drop down because I don't like the default and say okay. So when I do that, you can see there's a drop down here with the months in there. I'm going to do the same for the names, data here, data validation. And for the names, I'm going to get them from this sheet, which holds my data. Like so. Now you can add extra spaces so that when you get more data, you will not have a problem. So to add the names, I come here, click there. I selected it, save from a range, select the range, go to your data and select your data up to this one, say okay, change the look and feel using the advanced options and say okay. And there you go, well, now we have our names in here. So what I want to achieve is I want to select the name and the month, then all the other fields will be populated and my net pay will be computed automatically. So I have put here a formula which sums all the earnings, another formula here which sums all the deductions and the net pay which is got by the total earnings minus total deductions. So how do I get the other information to fill in here? I'm going to use the filter function. And the way the filter function works is it takes the range which you want to be returned. So the range I want to be returned is going to be from this sheet here. I go up to the end of my data, but you can add more spaces here so that when you add more fields or more data, you don't have to come back here. Then comma. Then the next one is the condition. Now the condition, I have two conditions. One, whatever data needs to be filtered should be filtered based on the name here. I have selected in this cell and based on the month that is selected here. So to tell the filter function that that's what I want, I need to put a comma. Then I say, when you go to the name column, this one, I select the name column, select only names that are equal to the name that is put in this cell. And because it is both conditions have to be met, I need to multiply this one here with 
Again, tell the filter function when you go to the month of column of months, consider January. So I say equals to January. And where am I going to pick my January? My January is picked from this cell right here. Close my condition here. Close my filter function and say, okay. Now, when you do that, you're going to see all the data that relates to John Doe for January will be selected and put in the cells right here, as you can see. Now, the rest is simple. I just need to reference my ID to the ID field here. I reference my department to the department field that I have here. I reference my basic salary to my basic salary right there. The next allowance is the incentive. Then the other one, next one is the meals. So I reference to the meals. Then I reference my taxes to the taxes right there. Provident fund, I reference it to the sale of the provident fund. Then lastly, to the loans, which is there. Now, when you do that, because I put formulas here, my total earnings are going to be calculated. My total deductions are going to be calculated. And my net pay, which is a subtraction of the total earnings minus the total deductions, I get the net pay right there. So the next thing is to test if I use Jen Smith and I select the month of Feb, these other fields will automatically be populated and Jen Smith will be selected as you can see right there. So you can confirm that this basic salary is 4,500. This is Jen Smith, February. If I go to my data set here, I look for Jen Smith, but for the month of January, the salary is 45,900, 45,900,180, and it is all working fine. So you can use this to select any employee for any month within your data, and all the other fields will be populated. And from here, you can pick and print your pay slip, which you can share with the employee. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And if so, please subscribe if you have not. Give me your comments. Share with me other ways you can do such a, a challenge. Like the video, give me your comments, and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.